Oh yes, room 666. Must be the right one. Oh yes, this is the right one. Delay for one step ahead. Then I'll wait here. One. What is this? This is disgusting. It's my cape. This is week three of Supervillain Basics. We have already covered such things as introductions, cool outfits, and basic villainy. We will begin by reviewing. What do you do if you see an old woman on the street? Well, you help her across, of course. No! You steal her purse and you push her over! What do you do if you see a cat stuck in a tree? Well, you save it, of course. No! You point and laugh! Ha 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 ha! To be a truly great villain, one must consider the great. Dr. Doofenshmirtz immediately comes to mind, as do such legends as President Business and Robbie Rotten. What do all great villains have in common? The evil plot. In order to properly demonstrate how to execute a plot, I will walk you through an example which I have concocted and point out the general steps. Step one. Established goal. As a supervillain, you have but two options. Personally crushing a specific hero beneath your black leather boot as they descend into their inevitable demise. <laughs> or world domination. Are there any questions? I have a comp. I'd like to say, never be discouraged with failure. Failure is a natural part in learning something. Dude, what are you doing here? It's obviously you're a superhero, not a supervillain. I don't know what you're doing in my supervillain class. I was forwarded here by my colleagues after our weekly meetup for heroes. We went to go get pizza, and they forwarded me here and said it would be the perfect fit for me. Delicious. You do belong here. is PG. I now pronounce you husband and wife. 
Give me just the bride. What should we name him? Devin Williamson. What beautiful name. Yo, Williamson. Oh, oh, my my oh, my back. Oh, is this your grandson? Oh, is your boy? Oh, I remember so my cute. first grandson. He's getting old. Oh, <laughs> he's so tiny. Why do you still have that face mask on? I don't know. Maybe it is time for me to take it off. Whoa, your face is so beautiful. Oh, what should we name him? Leo Williamson. Come over here, Dad. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 my back. I mean, you're not that old. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> don't pretend we just. You gotta pop your foot up. We're just. We're just Do you, Tommy, William, Bergenson, take Claire, Happy. Williamson. <laughs> Look really scared. This hurts so bad. <laughs> My face is forever gonna be in pain. I remember when I had you. You were such a naughty little rascal. I'm sure I was. You were. <laughs> so <Okay>. sad. <laughs> okay, we want him back. That's now. so weird. <laughs> to get my coffee before traffic got bad and you know you know how that is you know i'm just really excited for this job i'm really excited i just have to fend for my family and get the things that we need to just live our life and i'm just really excited that you got me this opportunity i'm just i'm really blessed i'm really blessed thank you um on my resume it said that i have guillotined people before but i don't think that's necessarily true i thought that I would not be able to use this in a very similar scenario, but I have, I have executed carrots before. And I know, I know that's a little different, but it's a little more violent. And I think it prepared me for this job that you are now offering me. So here, here comes the first guy up. What did he do? Oh, oh, we're not allowed to ask that. Oh, I'm sorry, that, that has been noted. I. I will not do that again. I won't. Um, um, it's it's very busy today. Are we gonna be executing a lot of people today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of people back there. Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be a little different than carrots, but I think I got it. I think I can do it. I don't know. Yeah. So when they get up there, what um? What would you say to them? Would you be like, hey, yeah, welcome to the thing. You just, do you hand them instructions or do you give them a little song? What does go, like, what would you do in the scenario of someone that does not want to participate? Would you go try to get them involved or how, like, do you have a little invitation, invite, anything? Like, no, no. Oh, okay. I was just wondering, wondering. Yeah. You know where you need to 
when you need to use your hands, but your hands get all sweaty and you can't use your hands anymore. It's a little hard to hold hold the knives or the carrots or anything like that. Um, it's a little hard when you get your hands all sweaty. <laughs> yeah, luckily, wish I could have the wish I could have the day off, but you know, there's a lot of executions to go around and you can't really stop your job. I just I just love a good old uh you know what? Never mind. I think, yeah, I think it's a good opportunity for me to try something new. And yeah, is that is that a twelve year old boy out there? Is it? Oh, he is. Are we? Are we gonna ex? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So when do you when do you want me to get started on that? Oh, you want me to get started on now? Oh, oh, right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. All right, so what you want to do before you get all settled is you got to warm up those muscles. And I didn't learn this in the LinkedIn account. I didn't I didn't know what was going on, so I just had to wing it because there's not a lot of YouTube videos out there that teach you how to be an executioner. Okay, so, hi folks, uh, my name is Fred, I will be your executioner today. I have not previously done this before, I've only done this with carrots, so this might be a new experience for all of us, okay? I know this, this might be your first experience, but I will do the best that I can, alright? Alright. Okay, have the first person come up. Ready? Here we go. I'm so excited to pass out candy to all the kids in costumes this year. Hey, have you seen Granny around? I thought maybe she'd want to sit out here and help pass out the candy to the kids. No, she definitely wouldn't. She thinks Halloween's the day when little devils around the earth. Oh yeah, I forgot Grandma's a little crazy about that. Oh look, there's some kids coming up now. Oh, hi kids. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat! What are you supposed to be? I'm a Justin. What are you? A man burger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, never heard that kids. one before. I sure do love Halloween. Um, maybe we should go to another house now. Why? I have more candy for you. So, how's your night been? How many houses have you been to? Yeah. Um, a few. Um, maybe we should go home now. Halloween! Why were those kids so afraid? I don't know. Did we go too far with like the spider? Granny, you scared me. Oh gosh. Granny? Unwelcome? Yeah! They are unwelcome! Granny, what were you thinking? I was thinking that All Hallows Eve is a day where three little devil children run the streets. They're not devils, they're just children. I want you to know that they are not welcome here at this house. Maybe at the hippie dippy neighbors over there, but not at this house. Granny. Wow. Somebody's full on crazy. Granny, we already told you they're just little children. Children of the devil! Granny, they are just little kids in costumes. Costumes of the devil! <sighs> no, they just dress up in costumes for fun. They just come around the neighborhood because they want to to kill us! Granny, they're just little kids in costumes. Costumes of the devil! <sighs> no, no. They're just kids dressing up in costumes because they want to go around the neighborhood and want to kill us! To kill us! No! no. They don't want to kill us. I kind of want to kill somebody. Come on, Granny. Let's get you back inside where you'll be safe from the demons! 
They're not demons. They're just children. That's the worst kind of demon. Children. Okay, let's get you inside where you'll be comfortable. Come on. Trick or treat! Wowzers, gee whiz, what are you guys? I'm a hippie. I'm a fairy princess. Oh, honey, you gotta get out here. Take a look at these guys. This is getting out of hand. I agree, but we can't just like walk her up. We are not doing that. I'm sorry. Granny just gets a little confused this time. No, I don't! That's the devil in all of its ugly, awful glory! Ah! There is nothing, nothing worse than that devil! Right there! I'm sorry, little girl. This is way worse than any other years. Why are you acting like this? Wait. 
I lost it three weeks ago. Got it now. Um, okay, um, don't worry. This isn't the only room. I know you guys probably thought it's a little small. Don't worry, I have another section. Where did the remote go? Oh, it's over there. Perfect. Okay, um, so it's out here. If you'll follow me. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a child's boy area. Like there are a lot of uh, toys. They usually like to, to have you touch their toys. So don't try not to touch anything. Okay, if you guys can see this, there's like a little tie chair. And uh, don't worry, my this is safe. I'm safe. You're safe. We're all safe. But I swear sometimes in the night, especially when I'm like walk, sleeping or when I walk past here, from that chair, I feel like I can hear a little bit of a giggle. But we're going to ignore that because why would I acknowledge that? Um, okay, get out. We're leaving because all the vibes in here make me feel like I want to throw up. It's gross. Yeah. Um, I would definitely not stand in that little circle thing on the ground. Seriously, creepy. It's a pretty fancy smoke smoking. Are you guys okay? I I have so much to be. Where are you going? What? Goodbye. Come again soon. Goodbye. I think that went well. I know you're under there. Give me the price. I got it for the low, low price of nine hundred million dollars. Mm. And how much is it to rent this place? Nine hundred million dollars. Um, what do you think? Pretty nice. <laughs> Go. Ah, uh, this product was like really expensive. And I think the person beat a lot more of it. And oh, yeah, are you guys okay? Yes. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> 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 Set. Go. Um, here's this big cabinet drawer thing. Really big, but I like it. Especially if you have your toes out of the blanket, you only get your toes pickled. <laughs> you guys ready? You guys. No, uh, I think Sam said it's I thought it's really loud. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, the building's safe. It's fine. Okay, wait, wait, but wait, I. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it. Go. Look, all in it from the finest fabric. Light's gonna change soon. What's going on? Don't look. Don't make eye contact. Don't look up. With who? It's a homeless man. What's the matter with that? He's so innocent. Look at him. You're freaking out like this because of a homeless man? Oh my gosh, you're so silly. What is so wrong with a... Okay, he's looking at me now. You made eye contact? Dang it. Yeah, I did. Wait, wait, oh my goodness, you can't just, no, you've done it. Done what? All I did was look at him. Oh, he's waving. John. Oh, he's sweet. Don't wave at a homeless man. Why? Because. It's nice. You can't just like, wait, you, oh. He looks harmless, look at him. Now he thinks that you're gonna take him somewhere. How would he assume that I'm gonna take him somewhere just from waving? How, how does that well, even make sense? Everyone knows this. If a homeless guy waves at you and you wave back, he's gonna think you're an Uber. You are crazy. Everyone knows that. <laughs> not everyone knows that. That is not a thing. Nobody in this world would suspect that waving at a homeless man would mean <laughs> that he's gonna get in your car. That's not a thing. 
Mm. Oh, oh, he's coming. He's what? No, don't. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're waving back. Hello, sir. Uh, I need a ride to City Hall and Walmart. What? You did wave back, did you not? In the law of the homeless person, if you wave back, that is as good as a verbal contract. So let's get going. What? I told you not to look at him or weave back. Right. Okay, I guess we're going. <laughs>